Okay, hi. Um, I'm gonna start this from outside today. <laughs> so, good morning. Okay, by the way, I didn't end the video off yesterday. So hopefully I can add something in there because a bunch of people came into the room and then I was like, well, I'm not gonna do this sitting in my bed with like five people like staring at me. So I decided to stop that. So maybe I'll put in like a little clip where I'll watch it back and whatever. But today I'm going to Burano and my friend Lily, I don't know where she is, but she's coming in from Milan and she's just coming here for the day but she doesn't know what train she's on or I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> I mean, she'll make it, but she doesn't, she's just kind of, well, here's the thing. She's confused. I would be confused. Like there's like no signs or anything. So she doesn't know where she's going to be ending up. But yeah, she was supposed to be here at 1030. And then we were going to head to Burano, which I think I'd have to take a water taxi or water bus or something, water car. I don't know what the name is. And I'll take, I would take that to Burano. Um, but I don't know if I'm gonna meet her here. I don't know if I'm gonna meet her here, like near my hostel, because that's where she was supposed to come in to, or if I'm gonna meet her in Venice, the island. I don't know. So I'm gonna go get breakfast because I'm very hungry and it's really nice outside. I brought my leather jacket and I was wearing my leather jacket mostly of yesterday because it was like, it was kind of cloudy. Like it wasn't like, like the sun is out. That's the sun. <laughs> So it's so nice right now and I'm in a tank top and just black jeans. I decided to wear all black because Burano is super cool, like colorful buildings and like houses or whatever. So, you know, I want that to pop. Contrast, you got to plan it out. I'm going to go to the bakery though, but that's all we have planned for today. And I'm going to hang out with this other girl from my hostel later, I think. But yeah, I don't really have a plan or anything. So I guess we will see. But I'm going to the bakery I went to yesterday because it was so good and it was so cheap. I think I paid one euro and something cents for this really good croissant with like, I don't know what, what was in it, jam, jelly, something. It was so good. And then I got a water too and I paid like nothing. Maybe I got mischarged. But I don't know, I guess we'll see because I'm going to go there because it's like a five minute walk. And then when I come back to over here, because after I pick it up, I'm going to come back here and I decided I'm going to drop off my leather jacket because I'm already sweating and I haven't even done anything yet. I've been outside for five minutes and I'm already sweating. <laughs> so, hello. Okay, you guys, this is the bakery that I went to yesterday and it's so good. Like, I don't even know what I got. I just pointed and just said one. So good and it's so cute and everyone's really nice. I got them. Also, I got three. Uh, I was gonna get at least two because I was gonna get one for Lily because I don't know if she's eaten and <laughs> You know, whatever and then I got one for myself obviously and then I also got Another one because I really wanted another one yesterday and if I don't eat it then at least I have something for Later for like a snack I Think ahead everyone. I don't usually but I've been trying to oh, I wish I had gelled so I could stick those hairs down because This. Yes. Okay. You guys, we have gone to three different ports because we can't find out which water taxi to take. It's taking so long. <laughs> oh God. Also, why do I look like that? <laughs>
half liter of white wine. Sober or not, so for yesterday we went to Toronto and that was so pretty, so beautiful. Um, just figuring out how to travel to get there was a little bit difficult. There's a lot of different ways to get to like Murano and Burano and like the different islands outside of like the main island of Venice, but it's still a little bit difficult on knowing like which ferry to take or like which route to go and depending on where you start it's just yeah it's just a little bit more difficult than i thought it was going to be but we made it back everything was good and i got two things but my friend accidentally i got this like okay let me explain something murano is known for the glass and the glass blowing and all of that so they have like all the glass factories and stuff like that, which is very cool. And in Burano is known for lace and they have like a lot of handcrafted lace. Oh, it's beautiful, so nice. Um, although the lace and the silk and like everything like that was very nice, there's nothing for me that I would have wanted to buy because I don't think I would have used it. So, you know, not really worth it. But I got a couple glass things in Burano, so, so I got like this like bracelet of like glass balls and it's like kind of a blue, you'll see it later. You'll see it in the next video because I don't have it right now. And then I got like a watch and it has like an orange band and it's just like little pieces of glass in the center of the, of the watch, of the clock. So very cute, but my friend Lily accidentally took my stuff because we had the same bags, but she got something, some different things, but but I see her today, so I'm going, when I go to Milan today, she will have it for me, so you can see it in the next video. But yeah, so yeah, yesterday was really fun, and then after we came back to the main island of Venice, we just walked around until Lily had her train to go back to Milan, so she went back around like 8.30, and then I didn't even eat dinner because I was so tired. My allergies were so bad yesterday. Um, I had my contacts in, so I didn't, like, my allergies were just very bad with, like, my eyes, so I didn't have the full effects until I took my contacts out, and then I needed to take my allergy medicine, my eye drops in, and I was just so tired. I ate one of the croissants they got in the morning. I ate my second one for, like, dinner, basically, <laughs> because I was so tired. Just talked to some girls in my room. Everyone was very nice that I met here. Um, very good hostel. The only complaints I would have would be that the kitchen is very small for how big the hostel is. 
and it's kind of hard for people to like wash their dishes so then you can't use you know you can't use the stuff um but i didn't use the kitchen so but that's what other people have told me just for people to know and then also i don't know if it's just my room or whatever but it's like very very warm the ac wasn't kicking in that much so we figured out we just ended up opening the window but we just knew that if we opened the window the ac would turn off because they have like a little sign um but the, opening the window at night was so much better and it actually felt nice last night like the other two nights i was so warm in my bed i was like eh. and i am never warm when i go to sleep because i literally sleep with a heater on with a sweatshirt and sweatpants like every night and in here i was in like a tank top and shorts and i was like i'm sweating but besides that very nice very nice hostel very nice people they have events each night so that's how i met actually a lot of people which was really cool and yeah it was a very nice trip um i'm gonna i don't know if i'm gonna do voiceovers or i'm gonna just add descriptions or whatnot but just lots of different things i don't know i'll have to figure out how to edit i'm editing my florence and bologna vlog right now so <laughs> i have a lot to edit i for like i think i said before i have like florence and bologna then i have lisbon then i have sevilla and then i have this one for Venice and we'll have Milan and Como. A lot of videos will be on the way or already out actually by the time you see this. I don't, I don't think I really did that much in the city. There are a lot of things to do because I just didn't really want to waste my time in lines. But just walking around, I could have done that like all day. Just sitting near the water, having a drink and just relaxing. And it's just a very beautiful city. So I really enjoyed it. Like Italy really on the top of my list right now next year when i come back to work in madrid i'm gonna be traveling even more and i'm gonna definitely try to do like eastern europe and like maybe more of like the uk um probably morocco do that but i mean i don't know that's like that's months and months away so yeah i really enjoyed my trip so i think i'm just gonna end the video off here um oh there also should be a hostel tour I know it, I was taking videos of my room, but it was very hard because either people were awake and I didn't want to like show them, you know, um, or people were asleep. So like this morning I was awake, most people were asleep. So I kind of just tried to get little snapshots of at least my room that I stayed in. And then I'll have just videos of just like the first two floors here, just so you can kind of see the vibe. It's a very, very big costume. It's very nice. But yeah, so I had a great trip and I hope you enjoyed watching my adventure in Venice and fuck that elevator, fuck that. <laughs> it's so loud. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and my trip and I hope one day that you can go too. Have a great day and I'll see ya in, well, I literally will see you in the next one. So it's just gonna transition to the next video. So yeah, okay, bye. <laughs>